In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five circular hanging infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I've created this thread kind of a curved line. And when I click the first option comes, you can see here it is uh, connected with these two knots. And then you can add the option number here and you can add the detailed text and I've added the shadow effect. When I click, it will show me the second option, the third fourth and fifth and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any light color background then go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select the freeform shape you can see here i'm just going to click it here this end and take the cursor to the other end and then double click make sure the line is straight just double click it so you end up getting in this line and then you can change the outline color to white and if you want to increase the weight also you can increase it so let me just increase somewhat so that it will be visible now i'm going to uh, bend this line I'm, I'm going to make it a curve shape for that right mouse click edit points you can see there are two points so just select one point and drag this down something like this and the other side also i'm just going to select this and drag this down so it looks something like this a curve shape then go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape you can see here maybe this much size depending on your requirement shape outline make it white and you can increase the weight of the outline and make sure that it is center you can see here and then i'm going to change the color you can either uh, put the gradient fill or any other color you can use it as per your requirement then I'm going to add one more small circle. Go to insert shape, select the oval shape. Again, hold the shift key and draw a small shape, maybe this much size. You can see here. And again, put this is also put this also exactly in the center. Shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill, make it white. And then right mouse click, go to format shape under effects give the shadow effect i'm going to use the offset bottom so you can see if you want you can just increase the distance also now i'm going to add one more small uh, oval shape to give kind of a the look of a hole for that go to insert shape select the oval shape again hold the shift key draw a smaller one you can see here maybe this much size and again just exactly put it here in the center just bring it somewhat down shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to use the color which i have used for the background with the help of the eyedropper i can just choose and then go to the effects under shadow scroll down and i'm just going to use the inner bottom the inside bottom one and reduce the distance so you end up getting a shape something like this let me just remove the guides now all right now i'm going to tie this one with the help of a thread again to add the thread i'm going to use the same freeform shapes so go to shapes and i'm going to select the freeform and just do it and just here bring it here it doesn't matter if it's not coming straight also just double click here sorry let me just do it once again because my mouse just moved a little bit so again go to insert shape you can see here select the freeform shape and take it straight or instead of doing like this what you can do is you can just go to insert shapes again select this one just click once here and just take it up without clicking and then when you reach to this particular line you can see and just double click this one and then shape outline i'm going to give white and if you want to increase the weight you can just increase also now I'm going to tie this one for that go to insert shapes I'm going to use again the same freeform shape what I'm going to do I'm just going to make something like this you can see here something like this I'm just going to make it and double click this one shape outline again make it white you can see here and increase the weight and if you want you can hold the shift key and reduce the size a little bit 
and press Ctrl D and bring it down also and again reduce the size a little bit more and then you can just put it here so two uh, knots I have added here you can see here and make sure that it is properly aligned in the center so you end up getting something like this now here at this place I'm going to add the option number or you can add the icon also I'm going to just say 01 center align make the same color which I have used as orange make it bold and then just place it here something like this you can see here now it's very easy for me I can just select or before that one you can add the shadow effect also go to insert shape select the oval shape just add it here smaller one you can give shape outline make it no outline shape will make it black and here transparency I'm going to increase a little bit then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size so you can see here you can do something like this let me just give more transparent effect so the shadow effect also added now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate I'm just going to add one here you can see here the first one will come here press ctrl D the other one I'm just going to make it little down something like this so now I'm going to select this press ctrl D so this will come here make sure that the it is equally aligned so you can see here something like this I can just align it or later on also we can align not a problem and then I'm just going to select this press ctrl D and then just add the other side also so you can see here I've added so this would be one this is two this is three this is four and this is the fifth option now depending on your requirement you can just change the color again whichever color you feel better you can just add different color combinations you can see here as I said if you want to add the other colors also you can just add it so and then based on these colors you just need to change the color of the option numbers as well so you can see here I've changed the option colors according to the colors which is available in the circle and then I'm going to select this uh, knot and this thread press ctrl D to duplicate and then just put it here you can see here make sure it is properly aligned in the center and then bring this down you can see here and then you can just select this line and make it straight all right so just do it and make sure that it is properly aligned let me just align it you can see here then again I'm just going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate bring the other side move this up you can see here this line also I have to just increase it so likewise you just need to add let me just select this and add it for this one you can see here and I'm going to select this and I'm going to add for this all right so you can see here all the five options are hanging now now it's time to add the detailed text you can add your detailed text here center align make it white font and bring it here press ctrl D to duplicate you can see here just do add one by one on each oval shape so our design is ready it's time to do the animation so before adding the animation we have to make sure that uh, we need to just group it i'm just going to select with the help of the mouse press ctrl g to group it you can see here it has become one object again i'm going to select all of the second one press ctrl g then the third one fourth and the fifth so all has been uh, grouped now let me just close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane and I'm going to select this add animation there are a lot of animations available you can just choose any uh, as per your requirement so I'm going to more entrance effect and I'm going to use stretch so you can see here something like this and if you can double click this one and if you want the timings fast slow depending on your requirement you can choose it 
so now with the help of the animation painter i'm just going to double click this add animation for this then the third one fourth one and the fifth one and then press the escape key you can see here now if i play it so this is the first one second one third fourth and fifth 